But for now, let's start the show. Hey everyone, I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com, a personal look at video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits, and we are here continuing our Let's Play adventure into Paper Mario on the Nintendo 64. This is, I mean, we're on like part 12 now of our our adventure here and as you can see we've got five of the seven and I'm way behind drugs here um, but we are I think we're ahead of pace of Randy so we will continue playing on hope you guys are having a great evening and we got a couple things to talk about I've had quite the eventful weekend hey Randy how are you I've had quite the eventful weekend filled with lots of of watch sitting in front of a screen. We Steph and I are all caught up on Game of Thrones. I'm not going to spoil anything here, but I did watch the the latest episode. All right. I heard something about drugs and I was very confused for a second. Uh yeah. You want to meet Petunia? That flower seems a little strange to me, you know. She collects beans and seeds, but she never grows them. She just likes seeds. I call her the Seed Maniac. Oh, this is neat. Yep, so... um, Oh, that, that looks very mean. I guess I fight that thing? I don't know. Alright, let's talk to this other person see what's up. Petunia? The Seed Maniac Petunia? The one who collects seeds like a crazy flower? I know her. She's grow... Oh, also, I gotta change this camera up. I'm so sorry. Uh, she's growing due east from here. Um, before we can or before we carry on, um, need to send some shout outs to people. So, um, shout outs to everyone that followed while I was off stream. Uh, truly appreciate that. So we have to shout out the master of puppets 96. Thank you so much for the follow. And shoutouts to Megs and Grits, who I know better as a geeky gal on WordPress. Um, and she started streaming as well, so make sure to check her channel out as well. And also, I mean, like, people can unfollow and whatnot. But uh, if you look at our tracker thing, we're officially at 100 follows on the channel. Thank you so much to everyone that's followed the channel as we have been streaming for the last year and a half. Uh, truly appreciate all of your support during this time and yeah I hope to see the channel get bigger and better from here oh we got a stinky herb <laughs> smells kind of bad restores five flower points okay mm, we can get rid of that coconut yeah unfollowed <laughs> oh no don't do it don't do it also um I've gotten into the habit of not shouting out the people who are hosting the channel. I just forget, and I, I, I try to do that every time. So, uh, thank you, Chris and Rachel over at Double Jump. Thank you so much for hosting my ch my channel when I'm on, and thank you to Later Levels for hosting this evening. Truly appreciate it. Um, those are some of my favorite bloggers right there. So make sure to check out their blogs as well, DoubleXJump.com and LaterLevels.com. All right. Hi, my name's Bubble Plant. You want to know why my name's Bubble Plant? Um, oh, okay. So Randy says, ah, you're not doing the full screen gameplay layout this time. All right, so this is, the, the thing with retro games is that they're almost all 4x3 in aspect ratio. I guess I could toggle some stuff to stretch it, but I don't want to stretch the picture out. And so, by default, it's going to form a square anyway and leave this giant space. So, yeah. Uh, for anything 16 by 9, I'm going to try and use the full screen layout going forward. But for retro games, I'm going to try and keep it like this. I'll tell you, if you give me a bubble berry, I don't have a bubble berry yet. So, oh, geez. <laughs> that was dumb. Okay. <laughs> Is this something I fight? Oh no. Hey guy, where are you going? Oh, Petunia? Yeah, Petunia is straight west from here. Yep, west. <laughs> Sorry guy, I can't tell you anymore. Not even if you... 
Why are you lying? <laughs> Alright. Ah, I'm so hungry. I'm tired of guarding the stupid old gate. I'm so, so hungry. Hey, you there. I don't suppose you have anything good to eat that you'd like to give me. Listen, if you give me something succulent, I'll let you through here and I won't tell anybody. Succulent. Um... A sleepy sheep? Is that... that... that succulent? Chom smack munch. Oh, blech! This is totally icky. Listen, I can't eat anything but berries from around here. Yeah, I guess maybe I should have told you that first, huh? Stupid old me. Now I feel even more blue. Please just leave me alone. Man, yeah, you should have told me first. Alright, that's fine. Let's go find some berries. So, Randy, did you have a good weekend? Hello, stranger. What do you think of my bright red coloring? Isn't it nice? What's that? You want to pass through here? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I couldn't possibly let you through. Although, perhaps I could make an exception if you gave me something delicious to eat. Alright, everybody wants these berries. You don't want to give me anything? Is that how it is? Then sorry, but no. You can't go through. Alright, nothing crazy. Okay. Yeah, I was saying, Steph and I caught up on Game of Thrones. We watched... Um... The rest, we were halfway through season six. We finished season six, finished season seven, and all caught up on season eight. I'm sick of this weather. Flower Fields is always cloudy. It never used to be like this. That huff and puff puffs the cause. Plants like us can't live long enough without the light of the sun. Everybody around here is losing hope and starting to wither. This is not good. The sun can't come up because a thick cloud is completely covering the sky. We bulb bulbs can live just about anywhere if there's sun. But now there's none at all. I'm not saying that having the having some clouds is bad. Of course not. But there should be some gaps for a little precious sunshine. <sighs> I hate that stupid cloud. All right, let's go. It's directly east is what people were saying. So yeah, I watched Game of Thrones, and then on Monday, uh, Steph and I watched Avengers Endgame. Oh, another gate. And without spoiling anything, I will say it is a a very fitting end to the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it. Is this something to fight? Yeah, it's something to fight. Okay. Let's see what the deal is with these flower people. Although I saw one of the crazy... Just before we started streaming, I saw... This is without spoilers. At least I'm pretty sure this is not a spoiler. But Deadspin had this really crazy take about how they criticized the movie for not being, for not respecting new viewers. And like, seriously? that There's there's like 21 other movies you have to watch before this, and you expect, <laughs> you expect the movie to also accommodate <laughs> for people who haven't done all the work? Like, it's just like, yeah, someone on Twitter said, like, imagine reviewing, a, like, reading the last chapter of a book and then, say, <laughs> giving it the same sort of critical feedback. It's ridiculous. Like, yes, that movie is a terrible movie to watch if you have not watched at least some of the other movies leading to that point. But, of course, it's, like, that's by design. Oh, jeez. Whoa, four! That that's huge. Um Let's give him that power bounce. Are you dead yet? Nice. Oh, I probably could have just done that. <laughs> okay. Alright, this time we got 
first hit. Yeah, we can probably just do a regular jump then. So Randy, have you had a chance to play Yoshi's Crafted World? Oh snap! Hold on, we had time 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 out. <laughs> Air horn noise, awesome. Thank you so much uh, for the the streak on the sub there, Double Jump. I got I gotta hit like all the buttons for you. Yeah, we gotta celebrate. Throw out some confetti. Um, of course we get the dance going. We got the, the just the what um shock, all the things. Hey, Chris and Rachel, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Um, and I guess we can hit. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do one more dance dance there too. Thank you so much. Truly appreciate it. And of course, now you can like hear me slurp water because I'm super close to the mic. I need to mute that every time I do that. Ugh. All right. <laughs> Pretty sure we're heading towards the third month. Fantastic. Love it. I always appreciate all the support. And ah, jeez. First strike. All oh, all oh, lit up. Okay. Um. Since you lent it to me, I've only played like two stages. Okay. It gets better. I will say that much. <laughs> so, Chris and Rachel, how you doing? Hope you guys had a good day today. Boop. Boop, 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 boom. Also, since you guys referenced the air horn noise, I... I do... <laughs> I think I gotta drop the air horn noise. Um, in my in my research, because I've, um, if you guys watch the stream over the weekend, I changed the layout of my my regular stream, so it's like the full width thing, and we're still testing that out. But like as I was looking for streamers to see how their layouts were set up, I found another streamer that started their show with the air horn, exactly three hits of it too. And I'm like, oh, dude, some this guy probably beat me to it. I, I can't. I, I don't think I could do it anymore. I thought I... Maybe it was naive of me to think that I was the only person in the world doing the air horn as the start of their stream. But knowing that I've seen someone else do it who probably has done it longer than I have, who has much more of a following than I have, um, I think I gotta drop it. So yeah, I have some other sounds in mind um, that, that won't get jacked because I, I, I made them, but um, I don't know. No, nah, that doesn't matter. The air horn noise isn't copyrighted. This is true, but I, I don't want to be like one of 8,000 streamers who are all doing the exact same thing. I, I got to be different. I thought that was my thing, but no, it's, it's not. It can't be my thing. Someone else is doing it. So, I'll look into other things I can do to kick off the show. Definitely start with a guy shouting, Yeah, boy! <laughs> no one's ever done that. Oh, man. Uh, we run. Up to you, though. Hope you both, you guys, are doing well. Um, yeah, uh, I'm doing okay. We, um... I was just saying to Randy, over the weekend, we caught up on all the Game of Thrones, and... I know you guys know that, but oh man, that no spoilers here. Um, that that show's really good. Glad you still hit <laughs> every tree. Of course, I, I think of you every time. I think of you yelling at me for not hitting every tree. <laughs> um, and then we watched Avengers Endgame on Monday night. Actually, missed the Raptors game so that we could watch the movie. But it was pretty cool because Steph got it through. Steph got the. T oh, is this who I'm supposed to talk to? Okay. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. 
Ever since the sun went away, I've begun to droop. I have no energy at all. Without the sun, it just seems like the whole world is sad. Now, these Monty Moles dig into the ground and bite my roots. Oh, woe is me. My beautiful seed collection will become a Monty Mole ba banquet if this keeps up. Please, sir. You look strong and capable. Could you get rid of those Monty Moles for me? In case you're wondering about the Monty Moles, I'm talking, I'm talking about are this guy <laughs> and this jerk and this troublemaker and this wicked creature. This guy is... Well, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. Please don't fail me. My seeds and I are counting on you to save us. Oh, this I didn't mean to fight right away. All right, here we go. Um, what was I going to say? Other stuff happening. Alrighty, I don't know if we talked about this, because I know this weekend is really busy with um, uh, Angel's Communion happening this weekend. Uh, but also happening this weekend is my middle school is celebrating their 50th anniversary. <laughs> and I'm very curious to go back and... I don't know how many people from my class are going to be there, but I kind of want to go back to the school and, like, see what's changed and see what's still the same. I'm pretty sure none of the teachers are going to be there anymore because I'm a dinosaur and <laughs> um, it's been a really long time. But, yeah, curious to see what that school is like now. Whoa, yeah, I know. Oh, okay. That, I never. I thought that would have been like a new buddy or something. I have yet to be invited to an elementary slash high school reunion. I don't know if I'd go. So technically, I I have it. It's a public event, so they're doing. Uh, tours of the school with and then there's a ceremony and then there's like a carnival happening outside and I found out about it through Facebook one of my oh man this is actually like way back one of my former classmates from kindergarten actually posted that she was going to be there and I was like oh this is a thing all right maybe we will go and see this person again all right I should actually hold on let me change my I mean, yeah, we're going to change out to bow. Bow's fun. But yeah, in terms of, like, reunions, like my high school, um, we haven't had anything formal. Like, I thought there would be a formal, hey, you're the class of blah, 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 and everyone's invited to come back. Like, that never happened for, her, for me at all. It was just, like, people would get a Facebook group going, and then no one... It would all fall apart. And Double Jump says, In our elementary school, there is a teacher who's been there literally since our father was there. Think she's finally retiring this year, her 59th year, and we kind of want to stay until she hits 60 years. Wish I wanted her to stay until she's 60. Wow. 59. Dude, that is... Wow. Round of applause for teaching for that long. Um, that That's incredible. I mean, just living 59 years, period, is an achievement in it itself. But teaching for that long? Wow. Uh-oh. Uh, this might be really bad. She was a fantastic teacher, too. Tough, but good. Okay. Um, there was actually, like, one teacher between Randy and I that had both of us. Um, because... We, like, we both went to the same elementary school, and then we moved, and so Randy went to a different school entirely. So we only had, we only shared one teacher, and she was one of my favorite teachers. Um, Shoutouts to Mrs. Stewart. And it was kind of funny, like, I went to one of Randy's, she kept calling me Jet. <laughs> um, yeah, that's weird, because the gap between us is pretty big. Um... Randy, Chris, I'm pretty sure you two are the same age. Um, but yeah, like, that's 
I, I can't give them any clues on how old I am exactly. I think uh, the fact that you... Anyway, um, that was a sizable gap, and I don't think you and I look alike. So for her to keep calling you that struck me as kind of weird. Right? It's a pretty big gap. Super Shroom. Support, um, Star Spirits. We hear your woes, Randy. We have an older sister, so all three of our names got mixed up all the time. <laughs> Smooch, 20. Okay, yeah, we want that one. Darn it, you almost revealed... I'm... <laughs> this is one of the, <laughs> the silliest mysteries of all, because I... I think you guys are, like, close enough in the ballpark to know, and once you know, it's not really going to change anything about what you know of me or how you interact with me at all. I'm not, like, 500 years old or anything like that. Um, yeah, our teacher, she... Her brother was in the Winter Olympics, and he got a silver medal. And I... I don't know if you got to do this, Randy. I got to hold the silver medal. It's just a fun, silly mystery. Yep. This is true, and that's why I keep playing it up, too. I still don't remember holding a silver medal. Oh. That's too bad. I... Yeah, I got, I got to hold it. It was kind of heavy. It was a very big coin. And I got to sit on his luge, too. Yeah, he, he did luge in one of the Winter Olympics. Luge is a horrifying sport. I will say, of the Winter Olympics, that is not one I would do. I think sliding down that tunnel on the sled, going super fast with the, with the turns and going sideways and stuff, nah. I'm not cut out for that life. Um, I think I'd be more of a... I, I think I'd like curling. As totally non-intensive as that is. Yeah, who are some of my other favorite teachers? I loved just sliding across the ice and curling is so much fun. I have not played curling. My co-workers, like years ago, a couple of my co-workers were, had formed their own curling team. Like, they'd never played curling before. They joined like a house league and they would go play curling and then have beer after. It sounded like a lot of fun. I don't, I don't drink beer, but the curling sounded cool. I think I've, and only recently have I actually learned how that game works. Like, I never understood the rules of how the scoring worked. Sports, what are those? Pretty cool about the silver medal, though. Yeah, I found it weird. Like, your, your family's, like, half of your fa family seems so into sports, and then you two are not. I, it's kind of odd. I, I would love to watch your parents do their own sports talk stream, and I would probably geek out over that just as much as I geek out about your, your video game streams. Although you would be talking about your local sports teams, and our local sports teams don't get along with your teams. Um, and I have a particular disdain for your basketball team, so that might be a problem. But otherwise, I would I would keep it in check, I think. Hammer. Yeah, what winter sports would I actually want to do? Um... Oh jeez, I gotta do the thing. I'm also totally blanking on what what's what's in the Winter Olympics. I don't really follow the Olympics, especially the Winter Olympics. I know Canada does really well in the Winter Olympics because Canada, but Dad enjoys sports, but he talks trash about his own teams and gets upset when they lose because they don't listen to his vice through the TV. Ah yes, I I am very much that person. Screaming at the TV, moment to moment, 
of like, okay, this is what you're going to do. You're going to pass the ball to this guy, this guy. That's a really good coverage. Oh, dude, you, why didn't you listen to me? Now we're, now we're going to lose. It's all your fault. I, I told you the right thing to do. I am that person watching, watching sports. You guys would probably get along while watching sports together. It sounds awesome. Although we would be cheering for, well, If we were cheering, watching neutral teams, or maybe I would put aside, like if it was one of your teams against a team that I hate even more, then yeah, I, I would I would root with your dad. I still don't understand basketball. I just cheer when everyone else does. It gets very confusing during away games. Oh, yippee. Hooray. Hurrah. Yahoo. Wee. You got rid of the Monty Moles. Oh, thank you. Thank you. To show you how grateful I am, I'll give you this magical bean. Here you are. Hey, you got the magical bean. A bean. It's twitching as if to say, plant me this instant. Hmm? Yes, my name's Petunia. They call me the Seed Maniac. Hehe, <laughs> nice to meet you. By the way, about the magical bean that I gave you, you shouldn't plant it. Why not? Because as a seed, it will always enjoy freedom. After it's planted and it sprouts up, it won't ever be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it. Though, for instance, fertile soil and soil and miracle water. I don't want to think about a sprout growing out of my cute little seed. No. All right, so we gotta find miracle water and see. Gets very confusing during away games. And I I would love to see local sports team playing in an away city, just wearing the jersey and having people um, glare at me. Though there are certain cities where I, I would feel more comfortable doing that than others. Um, I, there are certain cities where I feel like I would get beat up for doing that, and I don't, I don't want to do that. All right, someone's crying here. It's a well. Okay. These are dead trees. Nothing going on here, really. Um, who are some of your other favorite teachers, and what made them your favorites? Um, another one of my favorites was Mrs. Nealens. Uh, I remember her having her in grade three, and she was super nice, totally relatable to the kids. Um, and I remember she lived on a farm, and there was, um, it's just one of the memories that sticks out, and this is kind of a sad one. I, and I don't know why she was sharing this with us, but she she shared with us that when she passed, when she her plans for passing away were she hoped she got um, cremated and then had her ashes spread on her farm, and she passed away. I was I was out of that school by that point, but yeah, she passed away a couple years later, and I I don't know if she knew that stuff something was up, but um, yeah, I still remember that, and I. I still remember her being, like, an amazing teacher. Also reminds me... Oh, man. Reminds me of... This is going to be a super weird flex. Um, I... In a high school class, I finished with a 99%. And... Oh, I'm glad she made an impact on you. I hope she got her wish. I hope she did too. Um, because this is so. This other story was one of my favorite teachers in high school. Probably my favorite teacher in high school, Mrs. Lecky. Uh, she ran this media course, and I had a hundred percent going into the exam. And it the exam came up, and like the final essay question was about video games. And I'm like, oh, dude, it's video game slam dunk. I'm going to kill this. Perfect on the exam. And I just start writing up a storm. And it was about um, video games being used as a recruitment tool for the army. Like the video game America's Army had just come out. And it's sort of like a Call of Duty thing, but it's a little more realistic. And they were putting it out on PC to try and get teenagers and stuff to get into the army. And I'm like, oh, dude, I... It's video games. I've got this. And I kept writing and writing and writing. And with like three minutes left to go in the exam, I realized, oh my God, I have written way too much. And I'm not going to be able to close out this essay. 
and I I tried at the last minute to close it out and I couldn't do it. And so I probably would have gotten 100% if I had finished that essay and I didn't. And so I finished the course with only a 99%. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. I wish all my exams were like that. Like, I... Oh, man. But you were passionate about it. You should have gotten it. I know. I was very... <laughs> that was the most passionate essay I'd ever written in... Well, okay, no. It wasn't the most passionate essay I'd written in school. But... Yeah, I, I, I just didn't finish the essay. If I, I had finished it, had like a nice closing paragraph, it would have been it. I, I didn't do it, so. Yeah, I wish I had... I wish all of my courses were like that. I I was... I average... I was an... Like, I was an A student, like, on average, but I definitely had some weak points. Math got gradually worse throughout high school to the point where I finished calculus with a 56% and my parents looked at me like, what the hell, you got a 56%? And I was like, yes, I got a 56%. It was even lower than that going into the exam. <laughs> yeah, math was not my strong suit. It was math, chemistry were like my two worst classes. Um, physics was, eh, finite I could do. So, like, calculating the odds of stuff. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe I shouldn't hit these trees. And then English in high school was probably where I did best. I really liked writing. I'm writing now for the blog. Um, yeah, writing was one of my favorite, um, things to do in school. You don't use calculus unless you become a calculus teacher. Yep. Oh, jeez. I love gym class. There's another one. Again, sports. Um... I think I've messed this up. Hold on, guys. Before you... I know you're probably yelling at your, your TV right now. Let me figure this out. Give me a sec. That makes it go down. I got so mad at my grade 11 math teacher once on a grade report she gave us. I saw that she'd marked one of my tests as a 2.5 out of 30. I got a 25 out of 30 and she just accidentally made a stray pencil mark in her grading book. Oh, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> I would have lost it if that happened to me. Oh, okay, so that doesn't work. And... I clearly have no idea what I'm doing here. That's awful. <laughs> I think the most hilarious... Um, I, I think I've talked about this story a couple times. Uh, the most hilarious test score I've ever seen in school was a minus 2 out of 20. It was grade 7 science class, and I'll never forget it. It was a multiple choice quiz, and this particular student got 0 out of 20, and he, well, the teacher first docked minus 2 from his paper for talking during the test, and then he got every question wrong. Like, you have to be <laughs> super legendary to get negatives <laughs> on your test. Um, what am I missing? Oh, is it? No, no, it's not that. Okay. All 
All right, guys, what am I doing wrong? Let's... I'm going to mess around with some stuff in the meantime. Does this do a thing? No. My favorite teacher was someone who came from the TV industry. He was super creative and even took us on a tour of the Global TV Studios. Awesome! I did... Yeah, I got to see a couple of radio stations uh, when I was doing radio broadcasting. I saw 102.1 The Edge. I got to... One of my claims to fame is that I got to interview Josie Dye, who is a, a morning show host here now on Indy 88.5. I still have the tape somewhere, my interview. Then I finished this class and nothing of note happened to him after that. Nothing at all. Oh, wait, is it? Um, is your teacher the person I'm thinking of that was in the news for, uh, he was accused of doing assorted things to, um, multiple other people? Is it that person? Also, yeah, I'm totally stumped on this puzzle, guys. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Shh. Okay. I didn't realize you had that person as a teacher. Yeah, he was in the news. Ugh. That's, uh... If it is who I think it is, that that is problematic. <laughs> Oh, I think we're thinking of thinking people. Maybe not so awesome. Yeah, there's... There is one particular teacher. Um, Shoutouts to Brendan, uh, who was in my gym class mul multiple years, and we're both familiar with this particular teacher. I guess... What he was accused of had nothing to do with class. Yeah. Actually, you know, I'm not gonna... I, I can't tell the story on stream. We had a teacher who was in the news for something. Yeah, okay. It seems like... Yeah. Everyone's got stories of teachers in the news for something. I, I don't want to talk about it on stream. Maybe in private, though. Also, guys, I have no idea how to solve this. Or if I should even be here right now until I do the thing. The Secret Lives of Teachers. <laughs> New topic. Brendan is a teacher, and as far as I know, he is a good dude. Yes, I would love a hint. Please. I have no more st stories to vamp while I, I fumble through this puzzle. Don't be there now. Okay, great. Thank you. Explore elsewhere. Will do. I don't have bulb berries though. All right, we will keep exploring and find something else to talk about. Oh, video game stuff. Um, I saw the the trailer just before the stream for Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, what do you guys think of what that trailer has ended up being? Are you guys excited? Horrified? Oh, yes, Sonic. I don't think I want to give him a seat. Okay. I don't have anything. It didn't look as bad as I thought it would. I agree. I... If it's just an hour and a half of Jim Carrey, I'm on board. Um... If the sun never rises again, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought, like, Sonic himself didn't look as bad as I thought he would. Um, the story looked really cheesy, but it didn't look like the worst thing ever. I like James Marston, not thrilled with Sonic's design, but eh, Jim Carrey didn't seem too bad either. Agreed. Also, um, I'm continuing to explore. Maybe, oh, geez. Oh, 
On Twitter, someone had edited Sonic to give him bigger eyes and wider nuzzle, I guess, and it looked a little better. Yeah, um... Oh, this is where I was. Okay. Is this where I was supposed to... Didn't we go here? Oh, yeah. Can I jump in the well? No. Can I give something to the well? Damn. Nope, can't do that. Alright, so I'm guessing this is not the place I'm supposed to be. Which then leaves me very confused because I am not sure where I'm supposed to be at all. Do I have to get out of here? like squashes B. Are you asking for more hints? We don't want spoiler ruin anything unless you want a little help. Uh, I will gladly take the help. I have no idea what I'm doing right now and I, I would just wander around for like the next hour. Level up soon. Okay. Then we will keep fighting. That was an early cheer. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah, no worries. Um, other things. Couldn't count the star points. Yeah, no worries. Um, I've been curious about. I know Randy's talked about it. Um, oh, I should ask Randy. Randy, did you end up getting Box Boy and Box Girl? It looks kind of neat. It kind of reminds me of... I haven't bought it yet. Okay. It kind of reminds me of Sli Snipper Clips, at least the, the two-player co-op stuff. And I'm curious, like... If it, if the two-player part would be like Snipper Clips, where I you really need two people to play it. I really want to get through the 3DS one first. Ah. I haven't played 3DS in forever, but I really want to get... Um, I think after Steph is done Detective Pikachu, I will try out Detective Pikachu. I read that the co-op can be completed with one player, if that's what you're asking. Yes, that's what I'm asking. Whoa, hold up. Someone's calling me right now. Hold on one second. Hello? Who is this? Hold on, I can't... What? Oh, hey! Okay, this is really weird. I'm on stream right now. Um, No worries, what's going on, man? Uh, I was wondering if you could be my sponsor for confirmation. Oh, dude! <laughs> that, that's awesome! Yes! Yes, of course I will do that. Okay, so when? When's that? Yeah, <laughs> give me the details. Guard, guardian, angel. Okay. What what day? Uh, May eighth. May eighth. What time? Seven a.m. Seven a.m. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seven p.m. Okay. Um, awesome. I will I will make accommodations to be there at that time. Also, since I'm on stream, uh, go say... Okay, so this is... 
Um, let's see. This is my cousin Lawrence. I was you can see with the cloud. Say hi, dude. Hello. <laughs> Um, and he just asked me to be his sponsor at his confirmation. So that that that's awesome, dude. Thank you. I am I am honored. So what are you up to right now, besides calling me? I'm just playing games on my laptop. Oh, what are you playing? Uh, there's this. It's this flash game. Flash game. Okay. Um. Yeah, right now I'm streaming Paper Mario on the Nintendo 64. Are you still playing Fortnite? Uh, no. Oh, okay. What are you playing now besides Flash games? Uh, I don't play much Xbox, but whenever I do, it's usually like six each. Oh, Rainbow Six. Okay, cool. Yeah, I... Oh, man. Confirm Who did I ask? For confirmation, I know. Oh man, so this is going back to my conversation. I I I remember asking Titolito to be my 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 sponsor during my confirmation, and I remember he didn't. I don't think he gave me anything, but I remember your parents giving me stuff, um, and like they they took it as a much bigger deal than he did. <laughs> Shout out to both of them. So yes, I would be honored. To be your sponsor. Thank you. Yeah, you got it, dude. How are Kenzie and Kyle doing? Uh, they're good. Yep. And you guys are Quick at like the new. Sorry. Quick, I just got back from a trip. From oh. Austin. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, he. W That's kind of funny. We have there's people on stream. Some of my friends are actually from Boston. I was like, wait, what? Are Kyle's over there too. That's crazy. Um. And I saw that he won. Yeah, he won first place. Dude, that's that's awesome! Congratulations! Tell him I said congrats. Okay, I will. Um, and so you guys moved a couple months ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, you had to go to a different school. No, I'm still going to the same. Okay, that's like a long drive, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be like at your current school? going forward or or like next year you're going to move uh, I'm going to graduate at this school okay cool yeah um yeah that's awesome um i yeah i was very picky about what school i went to when we moved as well cuz sorry i'm angling so i've got you on the mic so that the stream can hear you too uh they are very happy for you um double jump says hey Lawrence, congrats on confirming uh, Randy says, oh, hi, Lawrence. That's amazing. Um, yeah, when I moved, I was just starting high school at, like, the, the one nearby, but then we moved farther away, and I was like, nope, I'm staying at the high school I was supposed to go to, because I want to be with my friends, and then the first year I was able to get rides, and then after that I had to pay for my own bus to go to and from, but I don't regret it. Yeah, how uh, um how many more years? You're graduating this year though, right? I'm um, graduating next year. Next year, okay, cool. And that's grade eight. Yes. Dude, you're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, okay. So this is this is another story between you and the stream here. Um, so a while back, I was talking about how there was a celebrity. I like I used you know how I used to work at the radio station? Or you're probably way too young at that point. I used to work at a radio station and um I got this celebrity's water bottle and I was coming home like, "Oh man, I've got this big news. I got this water bottle from the celeb." And no one cared because you were born on that day. <laughs> and so that's how I remember you being born was I had this big news and then I got trumped by you being born. But that's okay. I think your birth is pretty cool. <laughs> Double Jump says the plastic water bottle. Yes, he was born on the day I got the plastic water bottle. And I held on to that water bottle for way too long. It was like five years, and it was like half drunk. What? <laughs> I know. I thought it'd be worth something someday, and it totally wasn't. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um... 
Well, what else was I gonna say? Well, I got you here. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Are are you excited for your confirmation yeah. ceremony? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I can tell you my my story was so awkward because like, you go to Catholic school though, right? Yeah. Okay, so I went to public school. Randy went to Catholic school. So I didn't really learn anything about the process and like, even the, for communion too. Like there was, on the day of communion, we had to go to like this classroom in the church. And they were talking like all this Bible stuff. And I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, don't ask me, don't ask me, don't ask me. Because I don't know anything <laughs> about the Bible. Um, and then confirmation again, like I, I had no idea what was going on. My, I'm a really bad Catholic in that my knowledge of Bible stuff is... Um, there was Adam and Eve, there was an apple, there was a flood, uh, then Jesus happened at some point, and that, that's about it. Yep. Oh, is that Kenzie? Yeah. Uh, I watched her live stream the other day. That was really weird. I, I, but yeah, kids these days, all you guys in your live streaming technology. Of course, I say that now as I live stream for the internet, too. So, who am I to say? All right, dude. Um, Yeah, so May May 8th, I will be there. Um, I look forward to seeing you. I'm super honored that you asked me uh, to be your sponsor. And that, that that's really cool. And um, I guess while I still have you on stream and you got your, like, 15 minutes of fame here, is there anything you want to say to the people? <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. All right, dude. I gotta let you go, but thank you again, okay. and I'll see you on May eighth. Okay. Goodbye. All right. Take care. Dude, that was ridiculous. I should have had it on the face cam that whole time, but wow, you got your first caller. Um. He was cute. LL. Yes. Lawrence is super cute. He's very smart. Um, first time caller, long time listener. Yeah. Um, very smart kid. Uh, very good at Fortnite. I, I've asked him for tips and he's taught me some stuff. I'm still terrible at Fortnite, but he's very good. Yeah, not every day you get asked to be someone's sponsor at their confirmation while you were on stream. Um, that was really cool. Alright, I have no idea where we are now in Paper Mario. Um, oh jeez, and I just got stung. Oh god, we are awful at Fortnite. Of course, we didn't play it for long. Yeah, we we did like a like very early on. We did a boss rush stream of us playing Fortnite. Me, Matt, John, um, and JJ actually, and yeah, we were awful. <laughs> uh, well, our second hint was to get the red berries from the area where you met Petunia. Okay, I didn't realize there were red berries there, but let's let's go try and get some red berries. Um, I guess some other stuff about Lawrence is now Lawrence is officially, well, our second hit, okay. Of the people in my family that I look like the most, I look most like his dad. And I think, yeah, the age gap isn't too big between him and I, because, yeah, he's my mom's youngest brother, um, and... Actually, there's there's a gap thing. Um, his dad and me had some of the same teachers in middle school and high school. <laughs> I don't think they they didn't mix up our names though. They didn't know the connection between us at all.
Also, now that I think about it, I don't think Lawrence has ever called me before. <laughs> that Yeah, that was the first time. I'm... Yeah, I don't think he has called me before. Kyle has called me like once or twice, but... Oh yeah, the red berries. Okay. Then you give the red berries to the... All right. Do I need more than one red berry? I'm going to guess no, but... We'll see. Then you get the... Th okay. I think I know what I'm supposed to do now. Maybe. I don't, okay, that's the blue one. You got this jet. Thank you. Okay, not that one. Mm. All right. Hello, stranger. What do you think of my red coloring? Isn't it nice? What's that? You want to pass through here? Haha, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I couldn't possibly let you through. Although, perhaps I could make an exception if you gave me something delicious to eat. Ooh, delicious! This is it! Great color, full flavor, it's perfect. You're a champ for bringing me such a tasty snack. Of course you can go through. Ah! I, oh man, I, uh, this is another church story. One of my favorite quotes from church, and this was um, when Lawrence's parents were getting married. This was during their wedding rehearsal. Uh, the priest, when they like, we were wrapping up the rehearsals, and they'd ask like, "Where? What are you up to next?" And the priest was like, "Oh, I've got a funeral to go to in the morning." Um, and I remember his line after he said that was, "I marry them and I bury them." And we all just burst out laughing. Uh, church jokes. WCF nice. Our Reverend posts memes and puns on Facebook. That's pretty cool. This particular... I, I'm i pretty sure my mom is still friends with this particular pre... My mom is like... So, I'm very opposite from my mom. She's very religious and very tied to uh, the church. And she, she has priest friends and like goes out to dinner with them and stuff. And this particular priest is still active. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't know anything about computers. He's like 100 years old at this point. A D-down pound? I don't even know what that is. Mm. Whatever, we'll do that and... Sure. Yeah, think about like, I mean, this this, this took a really weird turn. This stream took a weird turn. Um, I don't know how I like. Part of me feels like I, I missed out on understanding my religion more than I currently do. Like, I I don't I don't even know if I would, if I like feel. Like necessarily disconnected from you know God or whoever you believe in or anything like that, but I think just having grown up in a Catholic family and like everybody else in my family in my community went to a Catholic school and learned that stuff and I did not, um, feel kind of left out. 
and like Steph's family. Steph went to a Catholic school and she knows all that stuff. Um, and then I guess the other part of it is like, as as a Filipino, and Filipinos are all like almost all entirely Roman Catholic. Like all the other Filipino kids went to Catholic schools, and so like on top of being disconnect from religion stuff like I was like the only Filipino in my school and so yeah there's just like definitely some identity crises sort of stuff of just not feel knowing where I fit in Let's go use that shrimp. Okay, is there a good thing here? Oh, okay, there's the yellow berries. Oh, what is this? Look at this crystal tree. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all the world? Oh, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Posey. Hmm. What's wrong with my mouth? This is my nose. Oh, how rude. Anyway, it was the fertile soil that made my nose grow so long. I happen to like it. Hee <laughs> hee. Your nose is pretty nice, too. It could stand to be a little bit longer, so why don't you take this fertile soil with you? Your nose will be perfect soon. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, so we got we got soil. This is good. We're Protestant, so as our reverend says, same God, less guilt as Catholics. Personally, we're religious enough, but my Chris Chris best friend is all Catholic and works for her church. It's great, she loves her work, but we don't really talk about much about religion because of that. Sorry you felt left out like that. Yeah, um, a lot of my life has been <laughs> feeling left out for all sorts of... I remember this really awkward moment in in school. Was this? I, I ran through, like, all the different ways where I feel like I've been left out of being, like, an, my parents being born in the Philippines and, like, come emigrating here and I don't speak the native tongue. I... So I don't feel Filipino enough. I I went to the Philippines once in my life, and I was old enough to recognize that people thought I was really weird because I couldn't speak the language. Um, and then like the Filipinos here, like yeah, there's my family and stuff, but everybody else in the community I didn't really know because I wasn't around them. They all went to different schools. Um, then going to Catholic school and not really understanding the religion part, and then going to public school, and... It's a whole thing. There's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. And, yeah, I remember my teacher just saying, like, oh, man, you, like, have... I wouldn't say no identity, but... Um, it's been a struggle, for sure, trying to find myself relative to other people that... I w I wouldn't say like look like me or like not understanding where where I fit in this universe. That's a thing. Good day, Mario. It's great to see you. I'm the guard of this gate. I must tell you though, I don't let many people through. I have excellent taste in foods, so you must bring me something sufficiently tasty to get by. Well, do you have anything? Lunch chomp chomp. You fit right in, Jet. No worries. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you. Always appreciate the love. Sweet, subtle flavor with a delicious finish and a such marvelous coloring. It reminds me of the warm sunlight I so yearn for. I am truly taken aback by your culture taste. Of course you may go. Hashtag never sappy. Wow. <laughs> spelling that'll just be that I will use that going forward 1p that's how I'll know that's okay I, I spell stuff incorrectly all the time as you you know from our chats 
and our... I'm in... <sighs> Alright. Mario can't really jump well for being famous for his jumping. Yeah? There are certain games he def- this one in particular, he's not- not so great. Relative to some other games he's been in. Also, the person behind the wheel is a bit of a problem. Other stories feeling left out. I got... I got those. Oh, man. Um... I... Mm. Oh. I'm trying to figure out where to start with this. Basketball's been weird, too. Feeling left out there. Um... And also just body image stuff of being, like, short for a basketball player. Also really skinny for a basketball player. That's been a thing. Um, I remember trying out for the basketball team. And so oftentimes when you're trying to, like, have two different teams, you play shirts versus skins. So one team will play with shirts on and one te team will play with shirts off. And I remember being picked for the skins team and playing with my shirt off and there were girls in the gym who like were totally laughing at me because I was like skinny dude I've also gone to like opposing gyms like still in uniform and stuff where like people have laughed at me for my appearance just because I did not look like the other people on the basketball team teens are stupid yes they are which party member do you want to upgrade um, I know we gotta upgrade Bo. Bo's been pretty clutch. Bo is upgraded to Ultra Rank. Oh, this is probably going to hurt a lot. Okay, squeeze that one extra punch. Great. Oh, what's going on? Oh, thank you so much for the retweet, Chris and Rachel. Also, why... Are you... So I've been running into some stuff. I know, Rachel in particular, you turn off your notifications. Um, I have started putting my phone on... Like, I like seeing the notifications. and um, I've started putting my phone in sleep mode. Because, like... I, the big thing is, like, when I'm at work and I'm talking on, say, Google Chat, my phone will buzz every time. And so I put my phone in sleep mode, but then I also miss important messages and stuff. So I need to find a better balance for that. Because, like, I want the Google notifications when I'm not at a computer. But, like, I want I don't want them when I'm at my computer. So it, it's a whole thing. Oh, I probably should have... Oh, okay. That's weird. Mario's falling asleep. He can't move. Damn it. Mario, wake up! All right, Bo, all you. Can we, yeah, let's go out of sight here. 
I like the notifications too, but between the two Twitter accounts and my personal ones getting 100 to 200 notifications per hour, my phone constantly went off to the point where I couldn't even charge because it constantly went off. I had no choice but to turn off the notifications. Yep, yeah, I mean, if with that many notifications, for sure. I am not at that point yet, but um, I definitely noticed, like, <clears throat> when I started doing social media stuff, my phone definitely died a lot faster. <laughs> My phone is literally just on silent the whole time. Yeah, I, I don't blame you either. One, I, I've never really messed with my ringtone. I still have the default ringtone because I never use it. My phone's on silent and I just like get the buzzing of it in my pocket. So I, I don't have like a funky ringtone. I used to have funky ringtones um, when you could first when that technology f first became a thing, I definitely had some funky ringtones. I had... Oh man, this is gonna make me sound like such a dork. Um, the first ringtone I ever had that was like a special ringtone was the song What Up Gangster by 50 Cent. And it's this chorus where he pretty much ends it with like, What up gangsta? And it was like... 50 cent telling asking me like what's up um i thought it was cool at the time actually can i yeah i can use the thing let's go use the thing and then i'll pick this up uh don't disappear don't disappear okay i have like 30 video game songs as rain so yeah randy has a ton But only like three people call me ever, so I don't hear them. <laughs> yep, you're a dork. LOL. That's great, though. I, It was personal. I don't think I ever really changed my ringtone. Randy, that's great. I know the only calls I get are spam. Yep, all I get is spam. So, I, yeah, I don't even want to hear the ringtone. <laughs> um, I also used to use um, Kanye West's song, The Good Life. It was a very positive way, that, that chorus. I'd go for mine. I got the shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. Um, well, we don't, we don't talk about Kanye West anymore in light of his uh, recent behavior and views, which I highly disagree with. He's also been making a lot of bad music lately. One of them is Paper Mario healing sound, so your gameplay keeps setting my brain off. Oh, here we go. Gah! Oh, how horrible. The spring went dry. What a tragedy. Oh, this can't happen to me. No, it can't. Not to Lily. Somebody, the horrible thing that rides the clouds, took our precious water stone. Water flows from that magical water stone. Without it, the spring will never recover. Oh, and I'll wither up if I can't float on the water. I'll be crushed by my own weight and wither. Poor Lily. Oh no, don't give up, Lily. Perhaps a handsome prince will arrive and help you soon. Oh! A prince. Well, he actually looks more like a plumber, but beggars can't be choosers. Hello, my name is Lily. I'm a beautiful, fragile flower who lives in the spring. Um, to tell the truth, I have to ask you to do me a favor. Could you please get my water stone back from that horrible cloud creature? Oh, you're a dream come true. Thank you so much. The water stone looks just like this. Please find it. Okay. Uh, we have to go find a water stone now. I have no idea where we're going, but let's go do the thing. Yeah, stuff's ringtone for me used to be um, Rick Astley's never going to give you up. It was during the whole Rick roll thing, and I can be a troll at times, which is part of why she had that as the ringtone. But then she'd be in, like, work meetings and stuff, and I would call her and that would go off, and it'd be kind of embarrassing for her. 
Although now, like, at our work, we have... I don't know if I'm giving this too much work information. I know I don't talk about work on stream for, for reasons. But, um... She... Our... Our phone system lets you pick what type of waiting music you have. And... One of the wait songs, like the on hold music you can pick, is actually Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. So, of course, I set that as my my on hold music. So, if you call me at work, that is what you will hear. That is awesome, and I want to have that at my work. <laughs> yeah, it, there's a couple of songs. I've heard some... Oh, man. Some... Heard some really bad call waiting music. I remember calling... It was... Okay, I'm not going to say the name of the, the service that I called to do this, but... The person on the phone explicitly said, like... I have to put you on hold for a while. You may want to put this on mute or put the volume really low or something because this music, that this hold music, really sucks. And I was like, okay. And then I listened to it and I was like, yeah, this is awful. <laughs> and I was on hold for like 20 minutes. And he was like, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh, wait, why is that one? Oh, that's not the one I wanted to hit. Hmm. Hey, they were honest. Yes, I appreciated them being honest about the weight music. There's something else about weight music. Um, I remember... Oh, dude. I can't remember the story. Damn it. This is... No, it's gone. Gone from my head. Um... Oh, that was it. They're also possibly giving away too much work information. But one of the songs you can pick is an original song about waiting for a conference call to start. And it's like, it's acoustic guitar, and this guy's like sitting in this room waiting to start this conference call. And, and it's just the whole song with like inside jokes about waiting around for a conference call to start. Oh man, I got some conference call stories. Some pretty legendary conference call. Oh, can I talk about? Okay, I, I can talk about one. I'm not gonna give away any sort of information. Um, can I can I even do that one? I don't, think I don't think I'm going to get in trouble for this one. So, yeah, I'll share. Okay. So, I was on a call with two co-workers, and you averted a catastrophe. Oh, okay. I, I don't know what they what a catastrophe I averted, but cool. Was I not supposed to fight the glowy thing? All right. So, we were on a call. Um, the three of us were on a call. And one of my coworkers, who was like our boss, got really upset at what was happening. The glowing one usually runs away, but if it attacks, it does 20 damage. Oh, dude. Okay. Whew. Without going into the details of the call, uh, my coworker got very upset and to the point where got up, walked out of the room, walked out of the building. And he was the one leading the call. So the other person on the call is talking. And I'm looking at my coworker like, dude, what do we do? Like, main guy's gone. We we can't we can't even carry on the call and have the conversation because the person who's carrying the conversation just straight up left. <laughs> and we were like, oh no. And so we just had to make up some stuff on the fly of like, um, th that's great. Uh, we're, we're gonna call you back. See you later. <laughs> Yikes, yep. 
Um, that was a, that was a, in hindsight, it was pretty hilarious. In the moment, I was super upset <laughs> that my coworker would bail out on us like that. Ah, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm tired of guarding this stupid old gate. I'm so, so hungry. Hey, you there. I don't suppose you have anything good to eat that you'd like to give me. Listen, if you give me something succulent, I'll let you through here, and I won't tell anybody. A blueberry? I'm sure this'll be gross. Munch, chomp, munch. Oh, how delicious! Such a splendid taste! There are good blue things. I'm filled with hope again. Did he ever come back, or was that him quitting? Um, he did come back. Thank goodness he came back. Um... But yeah, he... And this is like one of my favorite co-workers. I actually texted him like this week. And we haven't worked together in like five years. But something came up and I gave him a shout. He doesn't even work in the industry anymore. Uh, but he did have a bit of a temper. Did he ever come back? Was I quitting? Um, yeah, he had a bit of a temper. There are some other instances. I hope he came back with coffee or donuts or something. No, he did not. He did not come back with anything for us. I don't blame him. It was a tough call, but, like, you can't walk out on us like that, man. Ugh. Yeah, conference calls. I've been on on many. I've, I've seen some stuff. I've heard some things. Um, these are stories for not on the stream, though. Oh, here's... Man, the craziest work presentation. This is probably... I think this is, like, years after the fact. We don't have this client anymore. Um, I think we can talk... Oh, man, I'm, like, just short. Okay. Am I gonna live through whatever this sequence is? Okay, let's focus. I have the craziest work presentation I've ever done was. Okay, hold on. Let me let me hit the shot. Oh jeez. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Um. Crazy, okay. Crazy presentation. Um, sometimes I travel for my job, and on this particular occasion, I got to go to Havana, and I I was there for a weekend. I it was the first time. Was this the? F this might have been the first trip I went on, like out for the for work anyway, and all of a sudden, like I'm I'm in a different country. They don't speak the language. I'm with other... I had co-workers who did speak the language, but, like, the presentation... Oh, jeez, that's gonna hurt. This is what I get for not paying attention. Um, and the presentation was really weird. Like, I'm presenting to people who don't know the language I'm speaking. Like, they, they spoke Spanish, I spoke English, and so, like... I would say a bunch of stuff, and then it would go through a translator, who then... They would then speak in Spanish back to the translator through me, and it was like... It was kind of a surreal experience, being in, like, another country and speaking to people in a different language, having the translator, and, like, trying to guess what they're trying to say. Like, I would say some stuff, and there were some times where they would have facial expressions that looked really excited, and there were other times when they were not as excited, and... And then I'm just like, oh my god, is this, going, is this going poorly or what? Oh, dude, what? Why'd they all... F okay. Uh, this is not great. Can we... Alright, when all else fails... 
That sounds long. It sounds like it wasn't a bad experience, though. That's pretty cool. It was really cool. Um, and, of course, I just ran right back into the thing. Uh, being in a different country and being... able to see what life was like out there. I Like, I never thought I would be in that country ever and be able to experience it for a weekend was really neat. Um... The craziest story. Okay. I, sh I should use the, the story time camera for this. Um, so you guys are familiar with Fidel Castro, right? Uh, the, the dictator, overlord of Cuba. So there's this stretch. Like, our hotel was... Um, our hotel was, like, downtown Havana. And close by is this stretch of bridge called the, the Malecon. I think it's called that. And it's, let me, okay, let me draw a picture here. I should, I should have the, like, the, the Pictionary stuff set up. I have my book, though. We're going to do this the old-fashioned way. All right, so there's, like, a road, and then there's a walkway, and then there's the ocean. All right, so it looks something like this. So there's, uh, oh, geez, the camera is, like, totally not showing that at all. I need your ring lights, Chris and Rachel. I can't. Not gonna work here. Okay. So there's a there's there's sort of this like bridge over water. There's like a sidewalk to the side, ocean. And on Friday nights, the the kids, the teenagers would all hang out there. It's the cool spot to go, and you just hang out on the bridge. And Fidel Castro, on Friday nights, would roll up in his limousine, and this is the story I got from my coworker. Um, every Friday night when all the kids were out and he would drive down the Malecon and he would stop, see a girl or girls that he liked and just said like, you, you're coming with me. And so there were guys out there with their girlfriends and stuff. And then their girlfriend was gone just like that. And what were you going to say? I personally probably wouldn't hang out at that bridge knowing that information, but <laughs> why would you hang out there anymore then? Exactly. I actually saw like on the f a bunch of people hanging out at that bridge, but then again, he wasn't, he wasn't really in power at that point. Yeah, terrifying though. Yes, absolutely. All right, uh, back to the game. Hey, where'd you drop it, idiot? Huff and Puff will have our clouds if we don't find it. Oh man, I'm so clumsy. That stone gave out an endless supply of water. Without it, we can't increase the power of the Puff Puff magic or Puff Puff machine. It's just got to be around here somewhere. It's just got to be. So here's a question for you, Chris and Rachel. Where is your dream destination? You could travel anywhere in the world. Where do you want to go? Let's look for the stone. Let's go go rough this dude up. Oh no, Mario, are you sure? I'm not sure. Right mental state. I'll forget it. I'll fight anyone. Here it comes, Mario. Uh-oh. I probably should have saved. Can I run? No, I can't. Disney World. Can't go wrong with that place. LOL. So, are, are we talking Disney World, Orlando, or Disneyland? Possibly Alaska? I would love... I want to do a dog sled race. I have ridden on a dog sled before. Okay. Let me let me start this fight, and then I will tell you that story. Um, I should probably change my character. We'll go with both. Okay, so... Um, Steph works in the media industry, so she works with a lot of vendors at, like, magazines and movies and all this stuff, and for this one particular... Oh, hold on. Of course you have, and yes, Orlando. Never been to Disneyland in California, but I heard it was smaller. Okay. Uh, I think we've talked... I know Rachel and I have talked about this, that... 
the time when Steph and I were at Disney World was like a month apart from when you guys went to Disney World. And that was the time when I proposed to Steph in Florida. Like a month after that, you guys went. I didn't realize Disneyland was small. Well, I guess it's land versus world. Okay, so dog sledding. Um, st start the refresh. Yeah, she mentioned we just missed each other, although I don't remember hearing about us missing the proposal. Oh, okay. Um, uh, am I... Is it it? Am I doing the proposal story? I don't know if I'm doing that on stream. It's a really long story. It's a really good story. Um, and I still have to tell you about dog sledding. Not to say that the dog sledding story is cooler than the proposal story, but... Um, Alright, hold on. Dogs, dog sledding story. So, um... Oh, also, this is really bad. I am so not prepared for this fight. Um... So yeah, Steph got... <laughs> Jeez, I'm totally blanking. Dog sledding. Dog sledding. We got invited to an event up north in, like, northern Ontario. And this is in the middle of winter, and they had sh they were doing, like, a promotional event for a documentary about hockey, of course. <laughs> and they, the idea was they were going to show the movie on an outdoor screen in the middle of winter. It was, oh man, I can't, I can't do the translation from Celsius to Fahrenheit. It was minus 40 Celsius. Throw that in Google real quick to see what that is like in Fahrenheit. It is a ridiculously cold uh, number. Um, super cold, almost froze to death. People were, like, running in droves because they, they couldn't sit through that movie. It's it's the same in Fahrenheit. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, and then the following morning, as part of our perks for going to that event, we got to go dog sledding. And so uh, there was, like, six dogs, and they you just sat in and you ran. They didn't go particularly fast, but it was neat. But one of the things they warn you about is that the dogs don't stop to handle their business so they are running full speed and they are they're doing number twos and it's just falling out and then they are kicking it in your face as you are running as they are running and that's just how it goes so i don't know if that changes your mind about dog sledding but i thought you should know Also, we're totally gonna die right here. Yep. Uh, no thanks. And I do remember that the the dogs did kick poop at us while we were were running. None of them like hit me in the face or anything like that, but it is a thing that happens. Also, how how far back was I when? Okay, um, I should probably, like, refresh somewhere. Is there, like, a heart box anywhere nearby or anything like that? Am I close to leveling up? Okay, let's go back to Toad Town. Your best bet is Toad Town. All right, thank you. Oh, Colorado. That dastardly fellow. Yeah, let's go take a nap. Catch some Zs. Did you sleep well? Now that your body and soul are refreshed, your travels will seem much easier. 
I have also, yeah, I've, Alaska, we did a stopover. When Randy and I went to the Philippines, we did a stopover in Anchorage, Alaska. And so we were in the airport for a couple of hours. We saw mountains. I don't really have much to contribute on the, the Alaska part. Um... But yeah, Disneyland's pretty good. Alaska's cool. Um, I I want to go to Japan. Randy's been to Japan a few times now. I'm super jealous about that. Um, other places I've been... I've been to England. I, I got to be... I, I went to Buckingham Palace. I did a tour at Buckingham Palace. That was pretty cool. Everyone should go to Japan. It is on our bucket list of things to do someday. Um, the Toronto Raptors are actually playing in Tokyo later this year, an exhibition game against Houston. I've thought about it, like, oh man, we could see the home team and watch them play basketball there, and then, like, all the Nintendo stuff, and... Japan sounds nice, too. I'm also thinking of New Zealand, mainly because Lord of the Rings was filmed there. LOL. Yeah, I, I can't I can't blame you for that. Um, I have Oh dude, yeah, New Zealand. Um I guess shout outs to Carl, one of my former co-workers who came from New Zealand, uh, worked in Canada for a few years and then went back to New Zealand. New Zealand is Um He's told me it's pretty nice. The big thing he he misses about Canada the most was the music scene so Carl is really into music and he was at concerts all the time and he told me like the big thing with New Zealand is a lot of the major music even the smaller music artists don't really go to New Zealand so he felt super spoiled in Canada being able to see like pretty much all of his favorite music oh okay so Cooper is not good here mm, who would be good Oh, jeez. Watt bypasses defense. Okay. Well, I'm kind of stuck now, so... Dude, I I'm gonna have to go take a nap. Like, <laughs> this is not... This is not good at all. Yeah, all my defense is gone. This is terrible. Yeah, we're going back to sleep. And probably saving here. Um, yeah, let's go do the thing. But yeah, to your point, uh, I'm guessing... Yeah, Chris or Rachel. Um, watching Game of Thrones over the weekend made me... Like, some of the, the areas that they film in are, like, just majestic. And I was like, yeah, wherever they're filming this right now, I want to go there too. So I totally hear you on that. Do, do other places. All right, here's a question, uh, Disney World related. What is your favorite attraction at Disney World? Yes, it looks gorgeous. I'll be dog sitting across the street next month and they're going to a wedding in Scotland. So I bet that will look pretty too. Yes. Um, okay, where was I going? Wedding in Scotland, that's gotta be dope. Um, Europe is a lot of fun. I... The thing that weirded me out about... 
England the time I went. And I guess I... Do shows count? My. My favorite was the fireworks on Cinderella's castle every night with the music and projections on the castle. I know exactly what you are talking about. Um, I love the Cinderella um, fireworks thing. That is the last thing Steph and I saw at Disney before I proposed. That was like the last major thing. We did that and... Okay. Do I, do I want to go on to this story right now? That's a really long story. I don't know if I want to share that on stream. But, uh, yeah, that was the thing. Um, I didn't have the ring on me at that point, so I wasn't going to... I was scared about, like, the Disney metal detectors and stuff. Um, and then Steph also made it clear she did not want a public proposal. She didn't know that I was going to propose at that time. But, um, yeah, I, I do remember the fireworks, best fireworks display also has a little bit of sentimental value for me, so. Man, these spinies take off so much health. I should probably just, like, not fight them. Yeah, I can run, so... This is what I should have been doing all along. And what? what's Toy Story? What is Toy Story Mania? I don't recall off the top of my head what that is. What would be my favorite ride? Um, or favorite attraction at Disney World? I remember... I remember Frozen, and then you go inside, there's like an ice skating rink, and then they do the musical show, and they sing all the songs. Um, I... I remember, like, was it the Lilo and Stitch, where you sit on the chairs, and then, like, Lilo... Stitch is, like, running around and, like, blowing wind and shooting water at you and stuff? I vaguely remember that. That was neat. But I also remember, oh man, this is another, <laughs> lots of stories about, um, you're getting bits and pieces of the engagement story. So, it's kind of weird also thinking about it, like waking up that morning. Oh! Alright, um, oh that didn't, oh okay, that did enough. The Country Bear Jamboree. So it was the thing with the animatronic anim the the animatronic animals and they're playing the country music. And they I remember vividly the um the people that are like hosting the thing, the real life people before the show starts, and they're asking like, is it anyone's birthday today? Is it anyone's anniversary today? And is it is anyone celebrating an engagement was the next question and steph turns to me and is like who gets engaged and goes to disney world and i was like oh my god i'm actually proposing <laughs> that day later that day i was gonna propose and we were gonna go to universal studios the very next day and that that made me think uh ponder some stuff <laughs> about how i was planning on doing things Also, Toy Story Mania is where you sit in the little cart that moves around from area to area and you pull a trigger to shoot targets on screen in front of you. It's quick and frenzied and so competitive. Oh, I remember exactly what you're talking about. I do remember that. Um, yeah, that was the sort of like light gun game thing. That was a lot of fun. We did not get to do Space Mountain. I'm not a roller coaster guy at all. I'm absolutely horrified of roller coasters. So we didn't do... I think it's Space Mountain. Also, Space Mountain was closed that day. Steph is really into roller coasters. I am not. Um... Oh, no. 
Oh god, neither are we. Okay, cool. If he... <laughs> yeah, I... I can't do roller coasters because... I think... I think the bigger thing than, like, the speed that they go at and the loop -de loops and all that stuff, I think it's the fact that I'm not the one driving that freaks me out. More than anything. Like... Make for the best faces when you hit them. Yes. Yes, they do. Smooch. Hashtag blessed. I wasn't in a roller coaster until I had a crazy friend drag me to all of them during grad night at Wonderland. Ah. Did you... I'm guessing you had a fun night at Wonderland then? I told Chris and Rachel about uh, my my grad night experience and how it... Well, I guess I had two grad nights. I told them about the working for Z103 and how I was dancing on a stage that whole night. But my grad night was... My grad night, it rained the whole night. And so we were just out in the rain trying to find shelter. Some of my friends were still like doing rides and stuff in the middle of the storm. And I was just like, nah. <laughs> not having it. It was not great for me. And I see... Here we go. I would have kick-dropped that friend. <laughs> I don't blame you. It was a good time, but I couldn't fall asleep on the bus because every time the bus moved, it felt like I was going on a roller coaster hill. Mm. Uh, that actually reminds me of like a bad thing that happened on our bus ride home from Wonderland Grad Night. So this is my... We were at the back of the bus, and it was raining, and everybody smelt. The bus smelt horrible because it was just like wet human bodies and... My friend Casey was like, I can't take it, and he takes his Axe body spray, and he sprays it, like, in his area of the bus. The problem is that the person sitting directly in front of him is allergic, and she just has this insane allergic reaction to the spray, and then all of a sudden, now it's a health scare, and that was not cool at all. All right, where are we going? Oh no, yep, that was terrible. Okay, so that takes us here. Chris, Chris, Rachel, did your school do any sort of field trips to celebrate graduation? For us, it was... Yeah, going to this amusement park with the roller coasters and stuff, and it was open all night. And it wasn't just, like, for our school. It was, I think, like, all the schools in the Toronto area went on that one night to the park. And the park was open all night for roller coasters, and they had a DJ playing music and stuff. Also, I don't know where I'm going. Is it this one? No, I, I came out from that one. Alright. Didn't I do this already? This one? Yeah, I did. Great. Alright, where are we going?
I know the stream got really quiet as I try and probably fail horribly at navigating through this maze. I wonder if there is any sort of... Oh, wait, isn't... Doesn't she do the thing? No, that doesn't do anything. Alright. Great. Sorry, you buffered for a moment. Oh, okay. No worries. Um, yeah, not important. Not a big deal. I'm just trying to figure out this maze, and I am not doing particularly well at the moment. I'm guessing I have to find the spot to hit that block. And I am... I am struggling. Oh! There's the thing! There was a thing. Okay, we're, we're closer. going now. Where's this? Wait, what? To the middle. Oh! Don't know how to <laughs> help you out here. <laughs> LOL. It helped! Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. What time is it? It's like 10 o'clock. Man. Um, I wish we were a little farther along. Maybe we'll do this like one last thing, and then we'll call it a night. I was hoping to like get to whatever the dungeon is or close this out, but... Hello, it seems like ages since I last saw a visitor here. I'm Rosie, a rose spirit. I'm ever glad to meet you. Here I am in full bloom, and there's nobody to look at me. Please admire me all you like. Breathtaking, aren't I? Aren't I just incredible? Really? I'm that beautiful? You're so honest and charming, and underneath that scruffy mustache, I bet you're handsome. <laughs> I like you, and because I like you, I'll show you this. This stone, isn't it beautiful? I just found it the other day. Some strange creatures on clouds dropped it. I couldn't resist its gorgeous glitter, so I made it mine. I could look at it all day. Huh? What did you say? I should give this- Oh dear, you're saying Lily's in trouble without this? How very sad. Oh well, it can't be helped. The stone is mine now, you see. You mean Lily will wither up without the stone? Huh! How sad, really. How very pitiful. As hard as it is to believe that Lily sometimes acts like she's prettier than I am. She's dumb, but she's not evil, and if she's gone, there'll be no more flowers to set off my beauty. Let's see. Tell you what. If you bring me something more beautiful than this stone, I'll think about trading it. So, let's wait till then. What would be more beautiful than the stone? Oh, damn it. Um... What could possibly be more beautiful than that stone? Okay, maybe we will... No! On that note, we're actually going to take off for bed. Alright, 
Well, thank you so much uh, for dropping by, Chris and Rachel. Always appreciate it. Um, unless you want one more hint. Uh, yes, one more hint, please. All right, we're going to run. One more hint. We're probably going to wrap it up here anyway. So um, I will write it down for next time. I'm going to go save. And then we will close this out. I was hoping to be, like, finished whatever this area is by the end of the stream, but I, I went a little ranty, and then we got a, a surprise phone call, and that was cool, too, so. Leave it here for now, waiting for you to type your super secret hit. Go back to Posey, the flower with the big nose. Okay. I will write that down. Posey, big nose. I feel like this is one of the longer areas. I can see that, at least based on what I've played. But at the same time, I also got a surprise phone call, and I probably dragged that out longer <laughs> than I needed to. But it was cool. I haven't talked to Lawrence in months, and he's never called me on the... I guess that was FaceTime. Never called me before. So I was really excited for that call. Eddie, I... I'm going to be a sponsor. Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much for the stream and the entertaining stories. Thank you for dropping by and thank you for your entertaining streams. I'm sorry, Chris, I didn't get to stick around for all of your Donkey Kong streams. Um, yeah, the I know you, you start when you start. Like I try and listen to whenever I can with the 5 o'clock one. Yours was a little later on Tuesday, but like it's it was tax deadline and I couldn't make it. Uh, Rachel, your stream's fun. Though you got you gotta let a room go. I, I'm telling you, he he's bad news. You're not gonna get a baby out of him, let alone a hundred. So, um, yeah. Uh, whatever you decide to choose, thank you two so much for your streams. Thank you for dropping by. Um, make I hope you guys sleep tight. Um, and I'll you guys are streaming Friday, I guess. I'll try and catch up then. I know. Congrats. Have a good night, guys. Hashtag always sap. Hashtag never sappy. Never, ever, ever, ever sappy. But good night. I have no context for what you said. Rachel says she's not listening to you. Uh, don't worry, Randy. Don't worry. Actually, here. This is a great time to plug it. Make sure you watch twitch.tv slash xdoublejump. Talk to you later. Um... Yeah, Chris is streaming Donkey Kong Country and Rachel streaming The Sims where she's trying to have 100 babies and after two streams she has zero babies. <laughs> zero. <laughs> yeah, so those are a lot of fun and I look forward to watching the stream on Friday. And Randy, thank you for dropping by. Um, I hope you enjoy more of Yoshi's Crafted World when you get a chance. And as for me... Um, a hundred babies is too many. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Um, yeah, do I have anything to plug? I don't remember what the post is tomorrow. I know... Yeah, I post every day on my website, inthirdperson.com. Um, oh, that's the link to the Twitch over there. Um, and then at some point, probably not Saturday... Um, but Sunday morning I'll try and come on. We'll do like a regular rotation game like an Overwatch or a Tetris 99. Uh, Tetris 99, that stream was ridiculous. So many people showed up for that. I was really surprised by how many people showed up. And of course we had the Nintendo Labo ASMR going on as well. And that was, that was really weird. I'm probably never going to do that again. So make sure to go watch the VOD of when that happened because that, that will probably never happen again. All right, time to get out of here. Thank you so much, Chris and Rachel. Thank you, Randy. Thank you to everybody else that dropped by. Um, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's probably your best bet for finding out where I'm going to go next. I know I have the schedule thing on Twitch as well. Uh, I'll try and come on some point this weekend, but no more streams for the rest of the regular week because the Raptors are playing basketball, and they're in the NBA playoffs tomorrow night. Hashtag WeTheNorth. All right, let's get out of here, guys. Bye.